Hi everybody. I would love to go over how to restore a photograph for your restoration project. I'm going to just actually show you a couple of the quick fixes that you'll be using and working slowly on for this project. <clears throat> it should take you a long time if you do a good job. So um, this is the project that we're going to work on. What I want you to first do is find an old damaged um, family photo to restore. Um, if you cannot find one, get a hold of me and we'll figure out another plan for you. Um, what you need to do is take a scan of that photo or you can simply just get a really good close-up image of it. So take a picture of the picture that you will use to restore. So you can get a digital file is what you need to do. Once you have your digital file, then you're going to work in Pixlr.com. So I'm first going to show you how to use the healing brush tool, which is here in the first directions, and then I'm going to go over how to use the clone stamp tool. And then the last one is you can try is called skin smoothing, which I'm not going to go over in this one because that's more for close-up portraits. Um, and that just kind of gives you an overall uh, glamour glow, I guess you could call it, if you really need to um, even out the skin tone if you're doing a close-up portrait. You may or may not want to use this last one. The first two you'll probably be using quite a bit. So I'll go ahead and go over to Pixlr. You're going to choose Editor. And then I'm going to have you open up your image your digital image that you created. I actually have it already open over here. And I'm going to start with this photograph that I have. It's actually my great-grandmother. I'm not sure who this is. I don't think it's my great-grandfather, but I do know this is my great-grandmother. This is a great picture. There's all kinds of things wrong with it. There's stains, there's spots, there's scratches and rips. If I was going to restore this completely, this would take me a very, very long time. I'm just going to go over a few of the tricks with you. Okay. So I'm going to start with zooming in on my picture a little bit because it's a little bit small and I'm going to start with working down here in this little area on the bottom corner to show you a couple of the examples. You can zoom in as much as you want. I'll come in closer so it's easier for you to see. Alright, let's start with healing brush tools, so one that looks like a band-aid. This is an excellent tool. It's great. It works really well, except for once in a while it doesn't work at all, so you will see the difference when you would want to use your healing brush tool and when you would want to use the clone stamp tool. It depends on where you're working in your photograph. You can see there's a lot of problems here. I chose my healing brush tool. I have a kind of a large size um, brush you can change the size of your brush up here. I'm going to leave it like this so that you can see what I'm doing, but if you want to, you zoom in even closer and you can work in tiny little areas. But first I'm going to pick a dust spot. I'm going to click right on top of it with my healing brush tool and like magic, it's gone. I'll do a couple more for you so you can see it. This will take a long time to get all of these little dots, but if you do it right and you work slowly, you'll get all of this fixed. So you can see this is kind of a wonderful tool. Okay, I'll show you up here. A couple of these are gone, just like magic. So what it does is it blends into the area near there. So you can go crazy with your healing brush tool. Except for, let me show you an example of when it doesn't work, if you're close to another area of value. If I chose this one right here, it kind of makes a mess of that shadow, which probably doesn't really matter in this photograph that much. But let me try it over here. And you can see it doesn't quite work perfectly depending on what you're next to. It kind of gets a little imperfect area there. You can see it looks a little bit foggy. Maybe you can't see that, but it does compared to the other areas I'm working at. So when you're close to an edge where the photograph's value changes from light to dark, it doesn't work that well. So what would work better here is we're going to switch to our clone stamp tool. This is when you need to get more of an exact area. Now for this one, this tool might be a little bit large. It does almost the same thing, but what you can do with the clone stamp tool is you're going to copy an area that you will stamp perfectly onto the area you're trying to fix. So if I'm going to try to fix this area right here, I need to choose something that I want it to look like. So I would come over here to this shadow area. I'm going to select it, and the way I select it is con um, I'm using Command, I'm using a Mac command and it gives you a little target area and then you click to select. If you're on a PC you're going to use control and click or I'm sorry it's alt. Alt click. That's what I think it is on the PC. And then it selects your target area. Now watch what happens when I move over here to click. You're going to see 
over here where I selected from, you're going to see a little X show up. That's my target. What it's doing is it's letting you know where you're copying from. And I can make a more exact shadow. So I have a, a, sh a harsher line or a sharper line, depending on the brush I'm using. I'm using a soft brush, so it didn't really give us a harsh line. I'm using a soft one. If I wanted to um, switch to a different shape brush, I'm going to use a hard edge brush. I'll show you a better example of it. It gives me a harder line, which you can see showing up there. You may or may not want that. I tend to, see, I don't know if you can tell the difference. I tend to like the softer brushes. It gives me a little bit of, of room to make a mistake. Now, what would happen if I came up here to a different area? Let's go down here, where um, it's not the same color, and I click. It's going to make a mistake, because what I'm doing down here is I'm still selected up here in the this shadow or this value area so I don't like that so I gotta mix it go back up made mistakes get rid of my mistakes okay so if I wanted to um, use my stamp down here my clone stamp tool I would have to select a new target area here and then I can get rid of the mistakes down here or the dust spots or the scratches which are right here this is a great tool for getting rid of the scratches as you can see to really do a good job of this be working for a really long time slowly and carefully so those are two of the tricks for you when you're restoring an old photograph work really s small little little bits at a time I didn't mean to do that meaning um, just do tiny little areas don't try to stamp a big giant area I have um, problems over here I would try to fix but just do a little bit at a time and save your work as you go you will be happy that you did a little bit at a time make it easier for you. When you are completely done, this would really honestly take hours to do it correctly. When you are completely done, then you'll save it and turn it in. You'll be really happy. Your family will have a, a restored photograph to, to enjoy.